Hi friends, welcome to today's video. My name's Stephanie and today I'm going to be doing a nail polish tag video. I'm sure so many of you are familiar with tag videos. You probably have seen them on YouTube, especially years ago is when they were more popular. But a couple of years ago, Kelly Marissa started one on YouTube. That was the nail polish tag. And even though I didn't have YouTube at the time, I still did participate by sharing my answers in my Instagram stories. For a while, I did have the highlights saved but I don't anymore. I wish I did just because it would be so fun to see the answers back then compared to now. But yeah, I was just feeling inspired to do this video on my channel, especially after seeing Hillary from Mediocre Mannies and Nicole from Nicole Loves do it on theirs. So hopefully you'll answer these questions along with me in the comments, but let's just get into it. Okay, so question number one is how many nail polishes do you own? And I am just so delulu because i really sat here thinking with my four helmers that i had maybe 800 polishes less than a thousand i was so confident and i actually did count a couple of months ago but since then i've received some collections I've bought a couple of things and I unfortunately lost track of how much exactly, but my answer generally is over 1,500 polishes. It just sounds so crazy to say that out loud. I just don't know why I didn't think I had that many. I'm pretty sure when I did this video like on my Instagram years ago, I only had one Helmer at the time. I probably did have some polishes like outside in like a different kind of container. So it's crazy to see how much my collection has grown in such a short amount of time. Question two is what was the first polish you remember buying? And I had a hard time really remembering because it was just so many years ago. But my best guess was either Essie's Cute as a Button, which is this playful hot pink kind of corally shade or Playdate, which is like this sort of mid-tone purple. I actually don't think I have either of those anymore because I actually use them up and I never ended up rebuying them because I had received other polishes that are like similar to them. But part of me does miss having those like first polishes just because I don't know, they just were my first ones, at least the first ones that I remember. Question three is what is the most recent nail polish that you added to your collection? And this one kind of has two parts because I'm still waiting on one to come in the mail. So I feel like that would be my most recent one, even though I ordered it before the last package that I got, if that makes sense. So basically the most recent nail polishes that I added were a few from Plus Life Lacquer because they came out with a Final Fantasy VII themed collection. So I picked up a couple of those, but the one that I'm waiting for in the mail is Ethereal's Calcifer. So. Whenever that one comes in, that will be my most recent polish. Question four is what is your least favorite nail polish that you own? And this is easily Orly's Elysian Fields. It came out last year, the year before in the fall surrealism collection. And it is just one of those ugly colors. I mean, maybe some people think it's pretty, I guess it's a prugly shade, but I do not like it. And I don't know why I still have it in my collection because it's definitely not one that I'm going to wear. So if I were to remove that from my collection, I genuinely don't know how I would answer this question because I just don't generally keep polishes that I think are ugly. So maybe that's why I'm keeping it, just so I can say that this is the ugliest one that I have. Question five is what is your rarest nail polish? And this one is also kind of hard because I don't really think I have anything that's super rare, like the way that OPI or Essie had come out with these limited edition collections, especially like years ago. I don't have any of those, but I guess the closest things are just like older indie polishes that are just not around anymore. Like back when I did my favorite glitters video, I shared a few polishes from this brand called Sincerely Polish. It's one of those indie brands that I like forgot about because they haven't been around or at least I haven't seen them. And I feel like those glitter mixes are just super super, super unique. I've never really seen them kind of done again. I don't know if that's really a sign of like them using 
limited edition glitters necessarily. They just feel like the best answer to this question. So unfortunately, it's nothing super exciting, I guess. Question number six is, what is your most expensive nail polish? And this one is definitely the Christian Louboutin that I have. It was a gift from a friend a couple of years back for, I think, my birthday. It's the only luxury nail polish that I have. And it's one of those brands that like I would love to own more just because I think they're so beautiful. But they are $50 a piece and so it's just insane to think about spending that much money especially when it's like a pink cream you know <laughs> but if i had money like that i think i would get myself like a couple more of those so question number seven is what brand do you own the most of and i immediately thought it had to be between mooncat or cirque because i have a lot of those so i actually went through to count them just because it's easier in those drawers specifically and I have just under 300 Mooncat polishes. It's like 270 something. And for Cirque, I have 321. And that's counting just nail polishes, whether they are full sized or mini, but not counting any base coats or anything. But even if I did count those, Cirque would still win. Question number eight is what color do you own the most of? And I am in the middle of kind of like tracking my collection with doing all the comparisons that I do for my videos sometimes I just end up missing a few so I just want to actually keep track of them and be able to find similar colors but so far with my tracking I've only been inputting like the brand and the name of the polish I haven't gone through to add any additional information like the color the finish just because it's gonna take more time but if I were to guess I feel like the safe answer is probably pink because I love pink but I feel like the last time that I answered this the answer was actually blue which was was pretty surprising because I'm not usually one to wear like blue nail polish. I usually find myself just like reaching more for a pink polish. Yeah, unfortunately I don't have an actual answer to this. My guess is just blue or pink, maybe purple. But whenever I do finish tracking all of my polish, I will put out an answer somewhere so you can all know. Question number nine is what polish means the most to you in your collection? And this one was kind of hard because like I've mentioned I have received polishes from friends over the years from Ryan and it just feels weird to kind of like rank those and say one of them is more special than the other so not counting like gifted polishes I think one that really means the most to me is OPI's I Love You Just Be Cusco if it wasn't obvious from the name it's from OPI's Peru collection several years ago and I really loved like a lot of that collection and Ryan is Peruvian and so when we started dating when we went on our very first like official romantic date to like a nice restaurant and everything that's what I wore on my nails and ended up wearing it on like you know future anniversaries and all that kind of stuff so it's just one of those polishes that I associate with him and like the start of our relationship and everything so very cheesy but yeah it means the most to me and the last question is what is your go-to nail polish right now and this one is also really hard to answer because there's not really a shade in particular that I just will keep going back to. But I guess my go-to finish is shimmers, which isn't surprising, but I don't know. I'm especially loving them for the spring season. I feel like they always give me those light ethereal fairy kind of vibes. I mean, I don't know if you saw my nails already, but I am just obsessed with them. It's so hard to like narrow it down and just have one go-to polish. But if you want to know what my go-to polishes are going to be for this upcoming spring season, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss my spring favorites video. I'm currently just in the process of picking out the polishes. I haven't like finalized my selection just yet. So it should be coming maybe at the end of next week or the week after that. But yeah, that wraps up the nail polish tag. So hopefully you had fun listening to this video because I definitely had fun answering these questions and also watching again like Nicole's and Hillary's videos when they did them a couple of months ago. I feel like these types of like tag videos are just so fun to do and they're so reminiscent of like early YouTube. And I just kind of miss that content, you know, like obviously I'm always going to be here for swatching, reviewing, doing comparisons, but you guys know I also love to talk. So if you like this chatty style kind of video, love let me know what others you would want to see or let me know any and all thoughts that you have down below so we can chat about it. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!